Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the second tutorial in this series of tutorials on CSS and in this tutorial we'll be talking about something called class selectors in CSS. So I've got a document opened here in my text editor notepad plus plus and it's called class underscore selectors dot HTML and in this document as you can see in the style section the rule that I have is slightly different from the rule that we saw in the last tutorial. So you know I want to change the color of text to blue so this part is fine you know color is the property and blue is the value and I've got my colon and semicolon to terminate the style rule and everything is within curly braces everything is fine but you know the selector this time is not just P I don't want this rule to be applied to all paragraphs but I want this rule to be applied to those paragraphs which belong to the class blue so def to define a class in a style rule you have to put in the name of your selector first so since I want this to be applied to paragraphs I'll type in P and then you have to put a dot or a period or a full stop whatever you want to call it and then you have to type in a name for your class and this doesn't have to be the value that you're using it could be anything you know it could be your name it could be your neighbor's name or anything and uh, then inside the body section as you can see I've got two paragraphs so the first one has the text paragraph 1 and the second one has the text paragraph 2 but there is a difference in the declaration of both paragraphs so the first one simply has the p tags well for the second one I have typed in p given a space then I've typed in the keyword class and I've used the assignment operator or the equal to symbol here and then within double quotes I've typed in the name for this class so this name is the same as the name that you've used to define your style rule here in the style section right so what should happen is this this paragraph should be rendered with default settings so you know this text should appear in black whereas for this particular paragraph all the rules that you would mention here within the curly braces would apply or should apply right so what I'm going to do is I'll make sure that this file is saved I'll go to the folder where I have this file and it's called class underscore selector so when I open it in my browser this is what I see so the first paragraph had the text paragraph 1 and we see that this is in black and the second paragraph had the text paragraph 2 and this is in blue right so this is what class selectors in CSS are used for I hope you guys had fun watching this uh, tutorial I'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll explore CSS further and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I want to see you soon till then take care